be out here. I feel great, yeah. finally. I feel great to be back on the field, back around my teammates and things of that sort. Just being around football, I feel good to be back. So you, when you, uh, when you were you know join the Raiders, actually before when you met with the coaching staff, you had said that you really hit it off and you put a plan in place. What, uh, what were the first steps of that plan, and have you started it already? As far as what? You just said that you guys have put a plan in place. To, um, I'm not sure what what extent, but. Uh, I just, just coming in, getting around vets and things of that sort, and me and Bruce talked already. We exchanged numbers and things of that sort, so we started with that. Any reason behind number 99? Uh, no. I mean, it was just a, you know, you got some of the greats. Warren Sapp, uh, Jason Taylor, Alder Smith. Um, you got a lot of greats that wore that number, so I said, why not wear it? What are your sort of impressions of uh, had some tackles you guys drafted? Hurst and, uh, and Hall. What yeah, are my me, impressions? Yeah, impressions I'm in to meet them. Oh, great yeah. guys, great guys. Um, the good on the film, they got great film. Um, one went to Michigan, you got PJ. He went to a small school, but you can see the talent that he has and the potential that he has. Coaches talked about wanting to get a lot more to the pass rush this year. You three guys are going to take that yeah. on your shoulders. On your you guys are going to be part of that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's the, that's the, that's the mind and goal we have. That's the, commu the, co the combination of the goal we have, to be out there together and stay together. Are there any pass rushers that you liked watching when you were growing up? Anybody whose style that you Oh, yeah. Khalil Mack, Bruce Irvin, <laughs> Jason Taylor. <laughs> Jason Taylor. Huh? <laughs> nah, they're not old, but I mean, they, Bruce's been in the league for eight years now, so, you know. But Jason Taylor, um, who else? Derek Thomas, you have uh, Robert Quinn, I mean, Eric Donald. I mean, I can keep going. We can be here all day. I can keep going. Do you like to watch other guys that kind of like maybe, like maybe watch their film and be like, that's a good move, I can add that? Like, you oh, yeah. Like oh, yeah. I, I always watch the add more moves to my arsenal to see what I can use. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of those moves like Eric Donald uses, I won't use because he's – in the three tech, and he had yeah. used more power and things of that sort. But some of the some of the moves that he used, I try to use in practice and things of that sort. As, a, as an edge rusher, what did it do for you when you have uh, inside guys who can get to the court with good pressure? How, how much is that? Oh, we all work together. I mean, if you got edge rushers that get into the quarterback and the quarterback step up, inside guys get the sack. Got the inside rushers that get into the quarterback and make the quarterback roll out, the edge rushers get the sack. So we all work together. How much have you been able to familiarize yourself since becoming a Raider about the organization and its history? I've been good. I mean, they, they give us a book list of the history of the uh, organization, things of that sort. So it's on us, on us to study it. And John Gruden, he, he wants us to study it and get to know the uh, history of behind the Raiders. It's kind of hard shifting gears to think of John Gruden as a coach instead of the guy on Monday Night Football? Oh, no. No? Oh, no. What do you know about John Gruden as a coach then? I mean, it's been over 10 uh, years. I mean, he, he, he won a uh, Super Bowl with Tampa. He coached Warren Sapp, uh, Simeon Rice, uh, the guy that I looked up and watched past us. So I know a little bit about John Gruden. What are your early impressions of Tom Shaw and the strength and conditioning staff and maybe any early goals that have been set in terms of your work in that weight room? Oh, I kind of been on, on Tom Shaw. We had a lot of LSU guys go out to his facility and train with him. So they brought back um, knowledge on what Tom Shaw has taught them. So I kind of knew him, but didn't get a chance to meet him. So it's just been like I've been knowing him. And the goal is just to get stronger, make sure my shoulders and things of that sort right, and just get stronger. How is the shoulder? Where is it at now? Oh, it's, it's good now. It's just strengthening. Having Bruce Irvin now having met him, what, what do you hope to sort of pick up from him or learn from him when you guys get How to be a pro? Is there anything specific to that, or is he? Or are you just hoping he's going to show you? All around game, how to be a pro, how to uh, just a lot of pass rush skills. As far as because there's still some things that I don't know as a, as far as pass rush and things of this sort that he know. I mean, he's an eight-year vet, so he knows a lot that I don't know. I'm just a rookie. Do you know the path that took, he took to get to where he is? Yeah, like, I know. Of I know a couple, a couple of stories. I mean, we're from the same area, so I know. I know. I know a little bit about him. I feel like you got a. Uh, you got uh, something to prove or a chip on your shoulder coming in here? Uh, no, just stay on the narrow, just stay on the uh, straight path. Um, talent, talent was not the reason why none of this happened. Um, off the field issues, and we set a plan, and I trust them, and they trust me. So we're just gonna keep, keep on moving with the plan.
Rudy talked about your 2016 film two seasons ago, just what you showed, you know, one of the best edge rushers in the nation. Yes, sir. And then last year, maybe the film wasn't quite to that level, maybe weight-wise, weren't quite where you wanted to be. Yeah. Where are you now, and kind of what has this off-season after your college year allowed you to do to kind of just be where you want to be? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back to my 2016 season. Um, got down, lost the weight, been in shape, been getting in shape and things of that sort. And now it's time to put the pads on and show it. Show it. What was your weight in 16, and where was it last year, and back now? Like, what's 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 kind of weight fluctuation over that? Two, 245 last year, between 245, 250. Right now, I'm 246. So.